remember, God's grace is more than enough. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. And lest I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. Concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Now, this passage is quoted often and is used as an excuse for weakness. But that is not the intention of the Apostle Paul. First of all, we must understand that Paul's situation was in some ways very special. He was the one who had received abundance of revelations. None of us, living, none of us believers living today have received that kind of abundance of revelation. So we are nowhere close to what Paul was in the spirit in that sense. And because of those revelations, in order to enable him to stay humble, lest he be puffed up with pride, um, God allowed a messenger of Satan, meaning a demonic spirit, a messenger is Angelos, a spirit being. So there was a messenger of Satan, a, a demonic spirit that would buffet him, that would keep coming against him repeatedly. And uh, the consequence of this uh, continual buffeting or coming by this evil spirit, Paul describes to us in 2 Corinthians 11, where he goes through all kinds of hardships. So here was a spirit that kept on coming against him, opposing him, hindering him, obstructing him, causing all kinds of problems. Uh, and God allowed that. Paul prayed and he said, Lord, you know, could you just get rid of this demon? Get rid of this, take it away. Um, take away this messenger of Satan that uh, this thing might, you know, that this demon would leave and stop doing what it's doing. But God responded saying, Paul, my grace is sufficient for you because my strength is made perfect in your weakness. So God said, you know, this demon is going to keep coming and doing whatever he's doing, uh, bringing all kinds of uh, trouble and persecution and distresses and needs and reproaches, shame and all of that, insults and so on. But God is telling Paul, my grace is enough for you. My grace is going to help you win every time. My grace will see you through the end. My grace will make sure that my purposes in your life will be fulfilled. And so Paul, empowered by the grace of God, went on to the finish line. So when he finished his life, he said, you know, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. I've kept the faith. So this messenger of Satan did not succeed in any way or in any measure to restrict Paul or limit Paul or hinder Paul from finishing what God had appointed for his life. So this is not an excuse for weakness. This is not an excuse for surrender. This passage is not an excuse to uh, settle down uh, uh, and settle for whatever you have. But this passage here is to inspire us and let us know that the grace of God will empower us to win. It will empower us to finish our course. It will empower us to overcome all kinds of adversity. It will empower us to overcome all kinds of weaknesses, uh, reproaches, and shame, and persecution, and distress, and will see us through. So remember, God's grace is more than sufficient for you to cause you to win, to cause you to press through to your finish line. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your empowering grace. And we pray for more grace upon our lives to empower us to press through to victory in every area of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.